this is one of the busiest back panels I've seen and it's so full of connections only because this Integra has an unbelievable number of options. Does it look confusing? Well, it isn't really. So let me break it down for you in this video. The first thing we see when we look at the back of an AV receiver are what inputs are available. On this receiver, we have six HDMI inputs. HDMI can give you a video and audio composite signal. And this is what an HDMI cable looks like. So the way you connect an input is you connect one end to the AV receiver and the other end to any device like a PlayStation 5, a Tata Sky or an Amazon Fire Stick for example. The second set of inputs are audio inputs and over here we don't forget the legacy audio components. There are optical inputs through which you can connect a, a gaming device, a television or anything else like a CD player. There are component inputs. If you remember back in the day, we had the RGB inputs and there are stereo inputs to which you can again connect an analog source like a turntable or a CD player. And these are the kind of cables you need. And once again, I would connect this end to the AV receiver. I've connected it to the phono input, which means it, you can connect a turntable to the other end. And this pair goes into your turntable. The third type of input that the Integra has is what we call a balanced input. And these are typically only found in audiophile devices. This is what a balanced input cable looks like. And as you can see, it has three pins, just like a three pin plug. The benefit of the third pin is it provides a reference for the signal as it traverses long distances thereby reducing the noise to almost zero. XLR cables are also terminated, again increasing the fidelity of the signal. So this is a balanced input. You connect one end over here, the male part, and the female connector goes into a balanced output of a source, like a high resolution CD player. Now outputs is where an AV receiver and the DRX 8.4 in particular really shine. I talked about the six HDMI inputs, but this receiver has three separate HDMI outputs as well. What can you do with three HDMI outputs? Well, the main output gives you an 8K signal that you can connect to a display device like a television or a projector. There's also something called a sub 8K output, which means you can get the same image or the same video in two locations. So you could have a projector in one room, a TV in the other room, and by connecting the second output to the TV, you get the same signal going to both places. But what if you wanted to play something different in the TV outside? If you wanted to watch a movie in your home theater and you wanted to watch a cricket match outside and go in and out between the two, that's where the zone two output comes in. If you take the video out from zone two to a television outside, you can then play two independent outputs on two different screens. In terms of audio outputs, again, there is a huge variety of options. You have the standard speaker connectors and this receiver can go up to 11 channels of processing and you connect the speakers using a traditional speaker cable where you have a positive negative you connect the cables on one end and the other side of the cable goes to the speaker you also have what we call pre-outs a pre-out takes the pre-amplified signal and you can connect it to a power amplifier so you have 11 speaker outputs you also have 11 pre-outs on this integral receiver specifically you also have a zone 2 and zone 3 output and with that you can actually play audio in a separate zone that isn't your home theater while you're listening to music in your home theater as well so it gives you incredible flexibility another very cool output feature over here are your subwoofer outs the integra has two independent subwoofer outs that is mixed into four outputs you can connect four subwoofers so these four outputs are your subwoofer outputs and perhaps most impressively for me you also have a whole selection of balanced outputs. So again, it's the same sort of cable, a balanced XLR cable. You can connect a left, center, right output, or you can take even your subwoofers via an XLR out to a power amp connected to a subwoofer. So all in all, there is a whole bunch of stuff you can do with an AV receiver. You can play audio in multiple zones. You can play audio in your home theater. You can add a power amp. You can play video in different zones. You can connect a whole bunch of HDMI sources audio sources and this AV receiver can really become the centerpiece of not just your home theater 
but of your entire home entertainment in your home. I know it sounds like a lot, but that's why we are here. You can talk to us, reach out to us on cinebells.com, walk into our showrooms, and we will help you build the entertainment system of your dreams, not just for your home theater, but for your entire home.